Today we are diving into the heart of classic car ignition system, ignition distributor. How distributors work, how to rebuild them. It is important because healthy distributor is a key to reliable spark and performance. Patrick's Garage. Grab your snack, welcome back. Bosch contact, contact points distributor was widely used in 60s and 70s even. In 80s in cars, especially in European cars, German cars, you know, BMW, Mercedes, Mercedes, and uh, Volkswagen. Yes, you want to insist that they now currently, <laughs> in currently moment in Deep Dudu, but in olden days they were really great cars with this distributor. This distributor was used in Volvos, you know, in Volvo Amazon, Volvo 140 series, even in Volvo 240 series, but where difference? Yes, you know that a camshaft rotates at half speed of crankshaft and gears, timing gears in B20 engine, but B A B19 and B23 they were equipped with this stinky timing belt, you know. And thing is, what I want to say that B20, B8, B18, and these distributors shaft rotates anti-clockwise direction because of timing gears. You can imagine. Crankshaft rotates at one direction and in another camshaft, but camshaft connected with distributor shaft. And it's you, you can see this direction, you know, anti clockwise direction. This arrow shows. And uh, Volvo 240 series, you know, if we can find this distributor. Here is direction, clockwise direction because of timing belts and even we can imagine if it will be timing chain also clockwise direction. Couple of words about how distributors work. Probably if you are a really young guy and maybe you even not familiar with this device. Here is Bosch distributor. We open the cap of this distributor. Here is a rotor. Oops. Contacts. This is contact brake. Distributor. Contact breaker. Vacuum governor, you know. What we want to inspect in distributor? Our shaft, how it rotates. Maybe bushings. If these bushings worn inside, probably you want to rebuild this distributor. But first, you want to check this is distributor, this shaft more closely, and what inside. This is bushings, and thing is that a lot of parts are not available today. What can be worn? First of all, this is main shaft. Here is weights, you know. Because of centrifugal power, they can pull our shaft and this advance will be increased with higher speed because you know this angle more closer only at idling because when engine rotates faster, you know, this weights with centrifugal force they pull the shaft and angle will be more they increased this advance but for what this plate this plate connected with vacuum governor you know with partial vacuum in the throttle in the throttle area and vacuum this pulls our this plate with contacts and this will be additional plus for our angle because uh, in this on this stage with partly open throttle 
uh, not enough mixture, not enough gasoline, so it will um, burn a little bit longer. And uh, we want to increase the angle. So, advance, ignition advance. Why we do this at higher speeds? And, you know, engine rotates faster, and we want to provide a little bit lo uh, longer, longer period of time required to this to burn uh, this mixture completely. Yes, you not need special fancy tools to rebuild distributor, but you want to inspect this distributor and want decide should it will be rebuilt it or maybe you want to install electronic ignition especially if the shaft so broken that it's uh, not not possible to rebuild and these spare parts you know you want to inspect these weights which not available on sale and this shaft also not available this bush also not available available only uh, contacts this set uh, grease available you want to put a couple drops of engine oil to this felt ring and this is uh, just i mean this here this will be greased these lobes also should be greased and oil you want to drop here when assembling you want to put grease hair inside of this plate and uh, how it should be oiled through this special hole for oil you know for this shaft and this shaft and uh, this is centrifugal mechanism also you want to add grease and you want to inspect they shouldn't be too much worn these studs you know the springs also they're not available and you don't want to confuse with these springs because they different you want to install into their correct position and these weights you know they work you want to inspect these lobes also they can wiggling and you're not going to achieve with broken shaft smooth idling impossible to adjust distributor when it worn you want adjust this distributor when it in top shape of course it's impossible to adjust ignition with broken distributor or only one way to install electronic ignition there is no difficulties to find simple spare parts like kit this contact breaker uh, points because of this arc if they damaged you want to check your condenser and you want to order new condenser but volume of this condenser you can measure if you have this fancy you know multimeter with function measuring ferrets i'll show you this i have now this fancy multimeters but I can show you these differences of these condensers. You know, here is original one. Bosch, I also ordered original Bosch, but it was made in Turkey. Now it's not important where it was produced. They produced under Bosch control and it works normally. I'm installed it. Contacts, you know, this R can create damages because it jumps from between these contacts. And you want to buy new contacts. You want to buy new ignition cap of the distributor, distributor cap. You want to buy and you want to check rotor also if you're going to replace you want to buy original Bosch and I also ordered original cap first to my experience I bought non original and I tried to install ignition and it was horrible I can't understand but this can be deadly dangerous it strikes you electricity it's uh, really it can be thousands of volts 
it's really high voltage increased you know it can be 12 volts it can be dangerous intermediate voltage it's approximately 250 volts in this uh, primer circuit when contact gaps uh, they create this spark and this spark and in, inside the core ignition ignition coil also this broken circuit these electromagnetic impulses creates uh, higher voltage you know thousands of volts 47 maybe it can be reached to this maximum so it can be really dangerous you don't want to say this is fake economy if you want to buy cheapest parts for and you know this ignition wires in original they were red color <laughs> you don't want to farting around with these wires especially when engine running it can be deadly dangerous so i'll show you this wires you don't want to touch them while this adjusting process this should be copper inside not these ropes uh, which granny uses for drying your socks you know these red color wires but main thing should be copper inside there's uh, resistance zero resistance inside but caps should be with resistance one kilo ohm and you know also you want to measure resistance of your ignition coil primary circuit and second circuit and uh, special data this differs from coils but rotor uh, five kilo ohms uh, should be resistance if it's higher it's not good and you want to check this can be measured with simple multimeter you there is no needleness to buy these fancy multimeters but this will be really convenient if you want to check a condenser capacitor if you want yes it so happened that i bought wires they were in stand intended for b20 and seller positioning them as wires for b20 engine but inside they were with too much resistance so more or less if you want to buy wires for your classic car classic ignition system you want to check them with multimeter their resistance inside of these wires moral is that will be better to wait a little bit you want to wait but you want to order a really great quality spare parts because they these fake spare parts non-original i mean non-original spare parts substitutes they can create a really royal pain in the butt and you don't want to blame your ignition distributor original coil you know all parts will be better to buy original or you want to recheck them twice before you can you want to blame another parts of your car main thing quality spare parts for ignition system and for <laughs> all car of course will be better to find original i'll catch you in the next one on saturday 11 a.m eastern time 8 a.m pacific time thanks for your support and yes let me know which cars were equipped with bosch distributor i'm really interesting according your data